Hello and welcome back to a new weekly vlog. I'm so excited to get this week going with you guys. There's a lot happening and I just thought, let's start today. Why not? I look cute. This week's blog is actually going to be all themed around rain gear and rain stuff. And being that I'm a Seattleite, I live in the Pacific Northwest. We get so much rain, we're known for it. Who better to talk about it? <laughs> than a rainy girl. I have like a few different types of jackets. I wanted to share where I get them, my favorite kind of raincoats, my rain boots, which are my Prada ones. I decided I'm keeping them. I've put them up for sale, taken them back down, put them up for sale. I had a few interested. They're eights, but they just fit like a seven and a half because they're Prada. And that's how designer everything is. It's all, it's like designer stuff in anything from like the 50s and 60s is all teeny tiny, even though it's your size makes you feel terrible about yourself actually. <laughs> so the other thing I wanted to mention is I finally got the Morphe brow stuff to work as you can see and the trick to it is getting a lot of the first of all not having any product on your brows so I can do my like face oil and stuff around but I don't do it anywhere near my brow there's no product around my brows and that way it has no excuse <laughs> to not work and I take a good amount of it and then I smear it down over the entire brow smash it into place and then I like press it down but don't fiddle with it too much take a fan feel it drying on your face you could feel it setting and then once it's there I do my full face of whatever I'm doing so I'm not wearing foundation today either though I'm still doing no foundation I'm doing the YSL tinted skincare and I've been loving it it's so easy to wash off at the end of the day I feel like my face feels cleaner quicker obviously when I'm washing at the end of the day and doing my skincare and I love that my skin's able to breathe. I mean, I do freckle the fuck out of it, but it's really nice. Once I'm done with all of my makeup, then I can go in with the brow pen and do the flicks because it's dry at that point. And if I want to fill in some gaps, I'll take a pencil and just kind of fill in a few gaps, but not too much because I don't want to lose the wispies. And it looks so good. I Like this is the best yet, I think. And it just looks so wispy and natural. And it's what I'm going for, you know? And I'm loving the hair. I have makeup to do on Saturday. I hope, I hope she doesn't cancel. I have this hunch. My friend is coming this weekend. We're gonna have a great time. My friend Rebecca, I'm gonna go pick her up in Seattle. My husband is gonna be going out of town this weekend and that's the perfect time for her to come here. So I've gotta get the house ready. I've gotta do the spare room. I've gotta wash the sheets and bedding and just tidy up the house and get it kind of like guest ready. I've gotta run errands. I'm gonna go shoot a reel of this outfit and then we're gonna get going. Here is the raincoat I was talking about. The belt doesn't really wanna stay. Is, is my first I really don't even honestly need the belt and there's no belt loops for it which sucks because then I will probably lose it it does have a hood <laughs> the sound it makes is like opening a bag of chips overall the design detail of this coat is very vintage looking anyway uh, I need to eat some cereal and then I'm gonna get going on running my errands and getting some photos in this outfit I'm at a park that I have been too many times. I actually, it's funny, I think the last time I wore like a Prada outfit, this is where I came. I have the Prada blazer. I got that on the real world on the real world for like not very much. Actually, I don't remember how much I paid. I'll put it here. <laughs> I just remember it being not that expensive, and I never thought that I would own like a Prada coat or, or blazer of any kind. I just love that there's online options for buying good quality designer clothing. Uh, it's just great that we have that now. Good morning and welcome to my favorite pair of sweatpants. I find that when I grab for something cozy to wear, this is what I grab for right now. And uh, yeah, right now we are doing a bit of a deep clean still of the house. And I was just gonna kind of talk you through a little bit of what I have left to do on my checklist for having my friend come stay. I don't know about you, but do you feel this sudden crazy urge to make your house look perfect when you have people come stay or is that just me? This is the non-alcoholic sparkling rosé. And I just put one in the fridge. So you guys, I think if you've been around here long enough, you know I make a spritzer every night. I make one. So I do a tea and soda water with lemon and agave syrup. I try to do like a no sugar syrup, organic agave. 
a little splash of that and some lemon and then this herbal tea. So this is the wild berry zinger. I just fill that bowl with about six bags and then I let it steep for a couple of hours. I have some kava right now steeping. This is not how I usually make it. I usually have a sleeve that I squeeze it through, but this kava is a little bit too fine. So I just find that I'm gonna have to figure out a way to like activate the kava because it works better if you work it into the water as opposed to just letting it sit and steep like a tea. I'd like to thank my guests for coming over because now I'm deep cleaning my house. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing things that I've been looking for. Oh my god, that's so foul. I do not know how long this piece of garlic has been back here. Oh dear, that is disturbing. I usually have up here where you guys are right now, it's just this big empty space above the refrigerator and that's where I have been storing just random containers. How do things find your foot? Oh, I just dropped something on my foot. So this is those dish holders that you can get at like the dollar store. I use it to put cookbooks on so when I'm cooking I can see it. I also use it, you know, when I'm displaying clutch purses. Clutch purses go on here really nicely. You can use it to display your handbags. They're really handy and they're only a dollar. So I always try to utilize those in different ways. And I'm thinking what if to store all of my various cutting boards and then that leaves room right here for bowls. And look what I found while I was up there. I found a little tiny cauldron. It's so cute, I forgot about this. What can we do with it? All right, kitchen is done. Clean, 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 clean. I told myself I can open up my Ipsy if I did all this. I still have to do the coffee mugs. But I wanted to open this with you guys. This is the Ipsy Glam bag. This has five items in it. And then I always add on because I usually will save certain things that I want to try something new. Like I want a new facial wash. I'll just save it for when Ipsy sends me my email that says pick your items for the month. And then there's the add-on section, which things are anywhere from $3.50 to $12.50 to like upwards of $20. And then you can get stuff that's like $50, bucks, but it's blow dryers and curling irons and they're really high quality. All brands we know and love like Anastasia, Natasha Denona. As you know, I am an affiliate of Ipsy. So if you use my link below to sign up for it, that is an affiliate link. This is not sponsored by them, but I just love it so much. It's so exciting every month to get stuff. So let's just open this up and see what we got. So let's start off with the first thing. We have the Biro Celery AHA LHA Resurfacing Serum. I love the Biro packaging. Everything that I own as of right now that I've gotten from Ipsy that's Biro, and I hope I'm saying it right, is just really pretty packaging. I've needed a new, I feel like I need a new serum, so this is gonna be nice. Look at that, it's like mint green. What a pretty color. It's really milky, I wasn't expecting that. Mmm, <laughs> smell. Body scrub. I currently don't have any sort of body exfoliator in the shower, and I love Do the Gods. They make really nice stuff. Dermalect Cosmeceuticals XL Lash Volumizer. I think this is a lash serum. Eyelash and eyebrow booster formulated to target thin, weak, brittle lashes. Nice. This is the Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. I was so excited about this one because I have a coconut makeup melt away cleanser that I use to get all of the waterproof things and stuff that's harder to get off the eyeliners. And then I double cleanse. So I usually will have a facial wash as well that I use afterwards. It literally smells like orange peels. Pomelo and Company Vanilla Elixir Hair Serum with rose hip and vitamin E. It smells like vanilla. <laughs> I was expecting that. I am on a new path. I want to be the hair health girl. Now we have another one. This is a anti-breakage mask restoring mask strengthen and protect damaged strands reinforce strength with caffeine and ginseng by mark anthony so we have another hair mask this was an add-on i just kept adding hair masks to the basket so i was in like that i'm gonna make my hair amazing <laughs> mentality apply generously to wet hair after shampooing so this is gonna go in the shower leave on for three to five minutes i'm gonna do this tonight i'm gonna take a nice bath and do a little hair mask grapeseed oil avocado and jojoba seed Say bye-bye to heat damage and hello to smoother, shinier, healthier looking hair. Soaks Heat Defense Serum protects your hair from 450 degrees thermal styling and blow drying. Lip liner and blushed by the Anastasia. 
did I really buy this? Because it's not a color that I would ever choose. It's way too hot pinky, powdery pinky. I don't, I could have sworn I picked a different color. I'm gonna have to look back on this because I think they sent the wrong one. That's it for now. I'll pick this back up in a little bit and see what else we got going for the day while I prep for the weekend. Good morning and welcome to the next day. I have been a busy, busy bee. <laughs> I have been cleaning nonstop, it feels like. Honestly, since last week when I started organizing the pantry, every day I tackle a section. There's something in my eye. Oh my gosh, I did so much maintenance to my hair last night. I have just been in such a world of like oils and masks and whatever I can do. I used pretty much everything in my Ipsy. I did the scrub because I wanted to tan today. So I wanted to get my skin ready for that. So I used that Dew of the God scrub. I liked it. It's a little hard to get it out of the pack. That was my only thing is the packaging is cute, but it doesn't really function as well as it should. But then I used that Mark Anthony. Is that what it's called? Mark Anthony? Or is that like a singer? Is that who JLo is married to? <laughs> what else did I do? Oh, last night while it was still wet, I did the oil, the rosehip oil at the ends of my hair. So really worked that in. And then uh, this morning when I got up before I curled my hair, I used the heat protectant oil and then I curled it. I feel like it looks really bouncy and healthy. I'm really happy with my hair right now. I keep saying I'm gonna put my extensions back in and then I'm like, no, it looks it looks good. And I just don't wanna do anything right now that could like do any damage of any kind. Not that the tape-ins that I was doing really damaged my hair. I feel like if anything, it helped me grow my hair long while I was in that awkward stage. But now it's like past that, I'm kinda of loving it. Is my freckle looking dirty? I bet some of you hate these freckles. I bet some people just, some people just aren't freckle people. They hate them, but I think they look so cute. Whipped this sweater dress back out. I love this thing so much. I think, I honestly think it's my favorite autumnal dress that I own. I'm wearing the Rebecca Minkoff that matches my cowboy boots. And so you can kind of see I'm getting, I'm getting a little more tan. So anyway, we're gonna run some errands and get out of this house before the rain comes. I'm at the Vivi. I'm at Viv. I like this place because of the whole 20% off discount thing that they offer. So hopefully I'll find something. Baskets. Do I seem to be going thrifting every week? Yes. Do I do it because it makes me feel good? Yes. Helps me get out of the house. I like it. <laughs> but I don't want to be at Trader Joe's when it's late because I feel like it's going to be chaos. So I really should make this quick. I got complimented on the dress. This gal said that that is the most perfect autumn dress I've ever seen and I said I know isn't it so good and we sat there and talked about it and I told her I thrifted it and you know we had that whole conversation but she's like it's the most perfect color and I was thinking I totally agree <laughs> I actually even ended up painting my nails and my toes this kind of like forest green color just because it's so pretty I got some things for the weekend the main thing I was wanting is to fill a bunch of plant jars around the house with herbs so that we have plenty of fresh or er, woo fresh herbs to choose from because we're just going to be doing so much cooking rebecca likes to cook just as much as i do so we really just want to like kick it here and then i got the mint i want to do an apple mint water with lemon so here's all the herbs that i ended up getting We've got a nice new fresh big basil baby. We have some thyme. This one's really growing wild. And then we have some sage. Yum. Oh, that smell. I just, do you ever just walk up to like herbs and plants and just rub the leaves so that you can huff it? So good. <laughs> I got these for the dogs. You want some jerky? Let's see, you can have that size and you can have that size. She's gonna say, I'm gonna have mine in the other room. Thank you very much. Is it good? Did you eat it slow or did you house it? You can have another piece. Got to eat it slow, Bean Bean. Take your time. <laughs> so we're doing a cheese spread. I got Rutland Red Leicester cheese. This just looked pretty. I was like, wow, that's a really pretty color. It's very like festive colored. Look, they have so much inspiration on their on their crackers. Ooh, look at the chocolate and banana one. That's a good idea. Look at how perfect this little grocery basket is. 
it's so perfect. I want to give it a wash because I don't know where it's been. This really is like the vibe right now, isn't it? I feel like every influencer I see making a matcha tea has this kind of glass. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for. It's only $1.99. This is the pitcher that I got for making mint water, mint and apple water. So all three things for $9. This is why I love to thrift. I've decided to make this like a herb tower. So it has, well, that's not an herb, it's kale, but eventually I wanna get rosemary and I'll have rosemary, thyme and sage on this over here. And then in the kitchen, just for a pop of color because it's so pretty and bushy and healthy looking. And I actually decided to use the cauldron for the mint. And then I have these nice and clean. Now you can see the picture, it's like, the best pitcher, isn't it? I had one just like this, and it was my favorite for doing fruit and mint waters, and it broke. It's definitely like your quintessential Kool-Aid, <laughs> glass Kool-Aid pitcher, but I uh, am gonna fill it with something much more healthy and delicious. And then I actually realized I bought a half and half to make my own homemade pumpkin spice coffee creamer. Look at that. <laughs> it's like, the exact size. A tablespoon of vanilla, about a tablespoon and a half of pumpkin spice. I always go with the organic agave. Really good. And then we're gonna do a good amount of cinnamon. Alexa, add cinnamon to the grocery list. Perfect. Can you believe that eclipse? I, I didn't look at it in case anybody was wondering. The mailman just came, so he's still like not on my watch. <laughs> We're gonna go get her. We're going to get Rebecca. I had butterflies last night like it was Christmas. I've been so excited about this. I've just really needed a time, like girl time. We've known each other forever, familiar. We used to live together. So she's like my old roommate. She's, we used to be neighbors. Uh, I've known her for 20 plus years. So it's just gonna be so fun. Uh, just kicking it old old school style and she's bringing all of her camera equipment. She actually went to school Sorry, I'm still fiddling with my hair. She actually went to school for media So she has film photography and music all bundled up into her talents And so she's bringing some stuff so we can play. We're gonna have some fun <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of fun. This outfit is what inspired me today and what made me want to get lime green to begin with I've just been having a moment with lime green and this is the photo that started it all because I never considered doing neon colors in autumn, Marvin. I know you see that the male, I know it's a doggy. I know. You can just look and you look with your eyes and not your mouth, bud. <laughs> So this dress or this little skirt, I just love it so much. I got this thrifting, kind of almost a tweed. And then these are Prada suede boots. Lots of Prada in this video. I'm sorry, it's not intentional. It's just a lot of my winter, my winter clothing that I love that are my staple pieces are all Prada. But, uh, and this is a bodysuit that I thrifted recently and I love. I feel like that's the look. I'm gonna head out. Let's have a good drive. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fun. Oh yeah. It was restricted for a while and then they finally like got through it. And uh, I've had cranes at my at this place in the whole time. Oh, it's like the here. whole, well, partially like yeah. the cool thing about this apartment. Yeah.
means at the opposite of the table. <laughs> no, I really don't. <laughs> and I'll be like, can you pass the salt? <laughs> Where's there glasses there? <laughs> it looks so good. What's this called? Not your mother's chicken? <laughs> no, this is marry me chicken. Marry me. It looks so good. <laughs> Great. The claws are really difficult. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need new salad tongs. It's all I've got. <laughs> I hope you're hungry. Because <laughs> I just made so much food. Oh my god. I'm still drinking coffee. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been up since eight. Hello and welcome to the final day of Girls Weekend. It's been so fun. Finally got a little bit of motivation to do the stuff that we've been talking about. We've been talking about doing a photo shoot of some sort we are gonna finally go do that and we're gonna get some photos i just did like my makeup kind of i was going for like a 70s graphic eyeliner look with no lashes and no foundation so i don't have foundation on for photos that we're gonna be taking oh my god shih tzu wrestling <laughs> be like okay so, so wait, you want that light up high? So why don't you put that on this? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we do this. Yeah, yeah. Or I, well, I'm not gonna be in this shot. Yeah, I think, roughly, I think I have to do it separately. Yeah. Because um, it's just, it looks, the space and everything limitations were just, right. it's just impossible. Yeah. No. It is the next day. I'm about to take Rebecca to Seattle to drop her off. And then shortly after that, I will be heading to see Nicole and get some Hannah brows and film it. I'm actually thinking that maybe if she teaches me how to do Hannah on the brow and just how to use the product, that I might play around with trying to do freckling too, because I think it would be cool to have Hannah freckles so I don't have to do this every day. Just getting ready for the day. I have on a bodysuit and I tossed on some just slacks just because I'm going to be laying on a table so I didn't want to wear a dress uh, just in case, you know. So I figured pants today. I'm just going to toss on some sneakers and pull a cardigan over and call it good. like your makeup ones trying to get kind of a feel of like yeah, I, mm -hmm. I change it up like I do sometimes like the wispy feathery brow and then sometimes I do the you just have so many different things really, I just get sick of shit so I'm like I'm gonna try something else or I'll see something and get so inspired and I'm like that's my identity for a month <laughs> I'm now this 1920s like doll <laughs> are done so this is just like with the um tint but it's nice it's like they're darkened and they're gonna lighten up a little bit over time uh but i am actually going to meet nicole for coffee and lunch at a place called till dawn in west seattle and that's gonna be it so i just wanted to finish this video here i just thought this would be a nice way to end it having an another little continuation onto girls weekend where i'm gonna hang out with yet another girlfriend of mine and then go pick up my husband 
from the airport, which I cannot wait to see him. Uh, this week is gonna be a lot of just uh, home stuff, hanging out at home. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.